it, Skylander. The mission to end all missions. It's time to put Operation Spirit Extraction Sequence into full effect. I'm working on a shorter name. Now, Count Moneybone has placed devastating security spikes all along the road leading to the tower. They are really pointy. You'll have to take my word for it. Master Eon's Traptanium Prison is at the top of that scary tower. My work here is done. I'm going full dark. It's all up to you now, Skylander. Alright, so we're jumping right into chapter 18. Still on a mission to save Eon. Got some gold and diamond over here. Which could be a wish stone. The diamond is just a placeholder for the wish stones. It could be either or. These drainage pipes are our ticket out of here, Skylander. But Moneybone's troops have sealed up the exit. We need someone to dive down and clear any blockage. Then we can ride the Whirlpool Funnel out to freedom. Alright, so here's our Sea Star area. But, as I've said before, these areas are optional. If you don't have a sea vehicle, you just keep on going down this path. But since I like to show you what all these areas look like, we'll check it out. You must have a C vehicle to enter this zone. So we'll switch it up a little bit and throw our C vehicle. C shadow. Supercharged. Which just so happens to be Nightfall's signature vehicle. So we'll get the supercharge bonus. And we'll jump right in. Let's strap in. Oh yeah. Into the dark abyss. So this is one of the uh of the magic element are stronger in this kind of kind of 2D areas underwater. Um your controls are very basic. You can uh, choose if you're going left or right with the control stick. You have a button for your thrust from the bottom that will push you up. Otherwise, if you want to go down, you just kind of let it fall. And then, you, of course, you still have your weapons. But that's about it. Pretty simple. So if you can see the arrow pointing to the right there if you decide to go against the arrows you will probably find some little kind little some extra gear bits or something but nothing in my opinion that's really worth spending your time on getting um, so for this section I would definitely just recommend uh, to keep moving forward follow the arrows there's not really any reason to uh, uh, stop and look around there's no spin chests or anything like that so you can see down on the bottom here we have a portal you want to look for those but this being in the land of the undead yet they're going to mess with our perspective once again so now we're upside down so now pressing our thruster will make us go down and releasing it, we'll go float back to the top. So, you can see heading this way, there's, that's a dead end. So we'll head over to the left here. Your left and right controls are still intact. It's just up and down that have switched. So here to keep going down, gotta keep holding down the button. It's a little bit counterintuitive, but I think you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Once again, following the arrows. The other thing you have to watch out for are those uh, bubble jets. They'll be pushing you left, right, up, down, all over the place. T 
typically into some kind of landmine there. Well, I guess they're not really landmines. Uh, but, yeah, underwater mines. And, as you can see, you can run into a couple of these mines and it won't completely kill you, but... Uh, you want to be careful, because they will take their toll. Occasionally, you will be able to find the wrenches that will heal your shield on your vehicle, but they're not all that plentiful, so try to avoid running into stuff as much as possible. I'm not setting a good example for you here. I apologize. And that is not the way I want to be going. There we go. There's my up arrow. Missed that one. And another portal should flip us bet right side up again. Very thankful for that. There's the obstruction, Skylander. There we go. Clear that junk and the mob will be home free. So clear the obstruction and that's all we need. Great work, Skylander. Now it's time to send my people down a watery funnel slide of liberty. So that completes the sea star and looks like it gives us enough stardust to increase our portal master rank. This will give us a new power. I think this might have been, we just had this choice recently. As I've always said, there's, there's plenty of gold in this game. It's not something I've ever had a shortage of, really. So I always opt for the gear bits. This is something you can change later on, so don't worry about it too much. You can always go into the options and change your choices. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. Skylanders of the fire element are stronger in this zone. But we'll continue down this main path. And we find our mid-level Persephone here. So if you've collected enough gold along the way, you can stop by and say hello. And I can actually purchase my soul gem. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So we'll just tap triangle repeatedly, knock all enemies in the air, continue tapping. Alright. So we'll have to give that a shot next time we're in a fight. Uh, see what that looks like now. Alright, not bad. Changing our perspective once again. Looks like we got some spot bites up ahead here. Oh, and some chompies want to join in the fight, too. Alright. Wasn't expecting quite that many guys, but took care of them. Watch out for these spikes. They're hard. It's a little hard to tell they're spikes because you're looking at them from the top down. But those can hurt you. Be careful. All right. So we'll go for another change in perspective here. Ooh. Got a pinata off to the left. We'll always take those. A couple of gear bits in there, along with some good food. 
Alright. So I remember this area, actually. I've played this before. This uh, straight path down here, it's, it's kind of dangerous. It has a lot of spikes and basically just a couple of coins. What you want to do is take this bridge across up the stairs, fight off this guy because he's standing in front of our spin chest. That's what we really want. And there's another lock on it. A live wire lock. Alright, so these live wire locks are starting to get a little more difficult, but it's pretty straightforward yet. So I'm gonna hit this button back here that drops down this gate here. Now, one important thing to note is your little green guy can't die. The only thing that can happen is you can fall off the edge of the course. So you can fall off the top edge here. There's no wall protecting you. But these zappers, no matter how many times you get hit, they're not going to kill you. So just stay low here. Keep pushing to the left. And we'll hit your button and grab the spark that's there. Then we have to head back through them anyway. All right. Oh, need that spark, thank you. So hitting that button lowered this gate here. Same idea here, except there is no wall on the bottom this time. So we're just gonna keep pressing up and to the right. And we'll make our way across. Just grab this spark. Now the sparks aren't necessary to complete it, but they give you a lot of stardust towards your portal master rank and if you're playing this on um, PlayStation or Xbox there is an achievement that is related to collecting all three sparks in these levels that you'll want to keep an eye on. So there we go, got all three sparks. Bunch of stardust. And most importantly, unlock this chest. Alright, that's all the spin chests in this level. So we're good to keep moving forward. Don't have to keep an eye out for too much. But right here is the back end of that other path I mentioned earlier. The secondary path with little spikes. It just comes out right here to the same place. There's nothing in the middle you're missing. So just take the spin chest path and you'll be all good. So this looks simple enough. We got a gate here that needs explosives, and we have explosives off to the right. But they can't let it be that simple. Where'd these guys come from? like another land area here. Or land vehicle area, I should say. You must have a land vehicle to enter this but zone. if I recall, this is actually going to be the end of this chapter. Hot streak. So we'll jump into the vehicle here, and I believe I will see you shortly in chapter 19.